What is a server? We sometimes hear that the server of any website or business organization is down or busy. We are familiar with these kinds of words, which are related to the word server. We know the word server, but many of us may not know how it works. In this video, I'm going to explain what a server is and how it works. We are immersed in data and information in the world of the internet. Every day we use millions of data. Here the question must be raised, who serves those data to us? Who is the manager of our requested information? I hope you can now realize that we need someone to serve those data to us very efficiently. A human cannot serve and process those, so we need some machines. These machines are actually called servers. So, what is a server? A server is actually a computer system that provides a service to other computers. These other computers are called client computers. So basically, a server computer serves information to other computers. Clients can connect to the server through the internet or in a local area network. What are the main components of a server? Motherboard, CPU, memory, hard drive, network connection, power supply, etc. Server room environment and requirements. The server needs to be installed in an exclusive environment. You can use your desktop computer in your bedroom. However, a server needs a server room. A server room is always kept clean and tidy. The room should be air conditioned as well. The server is placed in the server rack, where multiple servers can be placed in a single rack, but a desktop computer can be placed anywhere in the room. A server needs a robust power supply system so that electricity can be supplied uninterruptedly. How does a server work? To act as a server, the computer system should be able to receive the request from the client via a network connection. When a client needs functionality or information from a relevant server, it sends a request via a connected network. Upon receiving this request, the server provides the requested information. That's how a client and a server can communicate with each other. This process is called the request and response model, as well as the call and response model. In most cases, a server has to perform multiple tasks. On a single request and response, such as identification of the request sender, make sure that the requested client is authenticated to access the data and return the desired result in a specific way. Now we will explain to you how a server works in detail. Whenever you browse the internet, you access a web server. When you type a URL on the address bar into a web browser like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, your computer communicates with the hosting server and grabs the information onto your computer. Let's simplify the steps. Open Google Chrome browser. Enter URL on the address bar, https colon slash slash www.brimatech.com. The browser features the IP address of the brimatech.com domain from the DNS server. Chrome sends HTTP requests to the server at that IP address. HTTP server accepts the request, looks for the requested document, and sends it back to the browser. Browser receives the HTTP response from the server and generates all of the data required to show the website. Finally, Google Chrome browser displays the website on your device's screen. This is how a web server works. Pretty simple, isn't it? Types of servers. 
A wide variety of servers are used to accomplish a variety of tasks, including database server, application server, fax server, file server, mail server, game server, media server, print server, VPS server, virtual server, web server, etc. Desktop computers versus servers. Many desktop computers can be connected to one single server. Server machines can store a huge number of files, including data and applications, than a desktop computer's. A desktop computer is smaller than a server computer. The desktop computer needs access to the server computer to do some particular tasks. The server computer gives access to the desktop computer and serves the purposes of the clients. A server allows several users to log in at the same time, but a desktop computer only allows one person to log in at a time. Desktop computers request the server computer for service or content. Server computers usually provide services based on desktop computers' requests. Example of client computers, notebook, desktop, smartphones, etc. Example of server. VPS server, application server, proxy server, mail server, database server, etc. Now let's observe the differences more deeply in terms of technology. Operating system. At a time, a server operating system can handle multiple clients. At the same time, a desktop operating system can serve only one user. For example, in our computer, we generally use Windows 10 as an operating system or Linux-based Ubuntu, Mint, Mac OS. But for the server computer, Microsoft has brought Windows Server 2012-2016 or other versions. Linux has some unique versions without a graphical interface. Server Hardware the server computer is usually a high-capacity computer with extensive and advanced hardware settings. On the contrary, the client computer has basic and minimum hardware configuration. Cost Server hardware is costlier than a desktop computer's hardware. Performance The server provides high performance in comparison to a desktop computer. Can my computer be a server? Yes, you can turn your personal computer into a server by installing required server software on it. For example, you can make your desktop a file sharing server by installing an FTP server program on your computer to share files with other users on the same network. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and got a clear idea about a server. Never miss an update. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.